What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. It's been a long time. I almost forgot how to do this do this shit. Um, <laughs> but believe it or not, I've been working diligently toward getting back to you, my adoring fans, my subscribers. Uh, and so I was actually working today, driving a big truck, driving a big rig filled with black meat. And um, my wife sent me a, a link to a video, to this video. And I text her back because, you know, I got mixed feelings about Konami. And also, excuse the audio. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've done this. And so when I sat down on my gaming PC, I accidentally broke the USB cable to my uh, my Blue Yeti. It's probably time to upgrade. I don't know what people are using nowadays. But I broke the uh, USB, so I'm using just the audio from my Logitech. Probably time to upgrade that, too. But um, like I said, I've had some really mixed feelings in the past few years about Konami. Not so much mixed. I'm, I was one of the guys saying fuck Konami because of what they did to Hideo Kojima and uh, their plans when it came to his ideas in gaming and pretty much the way they they took a crap on all the fans. I was just saying, you know, remaster Symphony of the Night, remaster the old Castlevanias, and that's all I want from you. Uh, especially when we saw what they did with Kojima, Norman Reedus, with their Silent Hills game, which I was very, very excited for personally. They uh, squelched that that uh, game. They, they, you know, they stomped it out. And um, a lot of the fans were in an uproar. But it appears that there's a new Silent Hill game and movie in the works. And I want to watch this trailer with you guys to see what you all think. Pretty soon, this channel will be back. I know I've been saying that for a long time, but as I look around at what I've built here, you won't believe how fucking awesome my studio is. <laughs> uh, I challenge anyone to have a better studio than mine. Give me probably another two or three months and we'll be fully functional and ready to roll. I got a couple PS5s over here on the walls. I got some crazy stuff going on down here. So let's get to this trailer. I swear to God, I haven't seen any of it. I wanna go into this thing you know, as a version without any type of imagery, sounds, and see if Konami can woo me in and bring me back to their side to make me feel like maybe, just maybe they care a little bit about the people who helped build that company. So let's go. Twenty frames a second. It's so a Japanese, it's just like the grudge, the ring version of Silent Hill now. Kind of expecting somebody to pull out some cameras and start snapping. <laughs> Is this The Last of Us meets Resident Evil? That's like Sal from Naruto, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, this is spores like The Last of Us. That, this... Can I see your flower? Silent Hill F. Is there anything else that's going to show? Oh. Oh. Thanks a lot, Kara. Somebody played The Last of Us. Okay. Um, what do you think? Does that harken back to Silent Hill to you guys? I don't know. I don't feel super excited about that. I was hoping... 
Hoping against hope, like Shang Tsung said in Mortal Kombat. I was hoping that they would go back to the Silent Hills idea. Not this uh, Japanese old world Resident Evil slash Last of Us Spore idea. It does not it doesn't feel like Silent Hill to me. Silent Hill is you go to a certain place, something traumatic happens, you wake up, you, you try to go to find help, there's fog, you walk through the fog, you end up in Silent Hill, which is like a purgatory type hell type of environment. I feel like when you when you include this viral infection type thing that's taking over people, killing people, flowers, it changes the whole paradigm of something that we've We've gotten accustomed to. We all know what Silent Hill is. All they had to do, honestly, was remaster and remake Silent Hill Part 2 and just call it Silent Hill. It would have sold gangbusters. Now this right here, this is like Fatal Frame. This is, it doesn't, I don't know. I hope, I hope to the gaming gods that something special comes out of this, that they're able to, um, you know, squeeze some blood out of the turnip and, and, and turn this into something worthwhile. But what they've been doing with the Metal Gear series after Kojima left and uh, uh, Pachinko Machines and uh, all this stuff, at least they're trying to make video games. I hope it ends up being something worthwhile. But as it sits right now, I, I can't say I'm super excited about it. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. The new Silent Hill, Silent Hill F. Maybe that's the grade I should give this this trailer. It didn't look too good to me. Silent Hill F, what do you guys think about it? Are you open-minded to the prospects of this thing being something new and exciting? Are you still down in the dumps about Konami and what they've done in the past? Are you a fan of Silent Hill? What's some of your favorite horror games? Mine, of course, are like Resident Evil. I'm a huge fan of Resident Evil. Really, any zombie game that's worthwhile. World War Z was a lot of fun. Of course, um, I still play, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the name of it, uh, Left 4 Dead. I still play Left 4 Dead. You know, that's still one of my favorite games. But um, this one right here, not my cup of tea so far. But things might happen. Things might change in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm the Beastly Gamer. See you guys next time. Let it go.